Hi, Nicole here. Welcome to another video. Today's video is all about how I prep for a brand photo shoot. And I also wanted to show you a real world scenario of this type of session playing out. This video is great for if you are new to brand photography or you're thinking about adding brand photography for your business and or if you are a business looking for a brand photographer, this will kind of give you some expectations to look out for when you're searching for your photographer. Okay, let's get started. So before we jump in, I wanted to first define brand photography. Brand photography is photography with a marketing mindset. And what that means is that a brand photo shoot contains images with intention behind them. What does that mean? So as a business owner, you want these brand images to not only provide brand awareness and to build your brand, but you want to generate more business as a business owner having a collection and a bank of images that you can use to speak to your business. And that intention helps drive and generate more business for you. So if you have promotions coming up, you want to create imagery to support that promotion. If you want to introduce new team members, if you want to show a new product line, maybe a new location, there's all sorts of layers of intention. So then you just don't have some generic images. They're all with purpose. All right, so let's get started about my process. When I have an inquiry come in, there's typically a discovery call. And during that call, we discuss their image needs, what business they're in, and kind of I provide my package information. Now, prior to that actual discovery call, I already know the business name and I can do a brief overview of their website and get a sense of what type of business they are. I tend to work with a ton of creative businesses so I can look at their site, or they could be um, businesses like coaches and bloggers and real estate agents so I can kind of see which industry we're talking about. Once someone has signed on and they're now booking a brand photography shoot with me, the next step is to have a strategy meeting. This is a critical piece to the whole puzzle. If you are a brand photographer or you're looking for brand photography, this happens well before a photo shoot ever occurs. And during this strategy meeting, this is where we dive deep into your business, how you started. We kind of go even further than a discovery call. We want to know specifics on um, your image needs, promotions coming up. We really dive deep and from that strategy meeting, I develop concept boards, a shoot list, a prop list, and we have a well-defined custom photo shoot for my client. Now, many times you may see photographers provide a very in-depth questionnaire, create Pinterest boards. My strategy meeting is basically doing that on a phone call. So I have, kind of standard questions that we kind of work through, but I want to make that connection with the client. I want to talk with them and hear where their challenges have been, what they need in the future, so then they have an amazing experience on photo shoot day. I create the concept boards, which I'm pulling images from Pinterest or other photo shoots that I have, and they get a whole designed photo shoot from me. Then that also includes a shoot list so we know exactly what images we're gonna to create to speak to their brand, to help them with brand awareness and generate business. And then they have a prop list, so if we need to have a laptop, if we need them to get their tools organized or have something prepped in advance, then we have that all ready to go. Okay, so from there is photo shoot day. And this is where I thought I would show you a real world example of a photo shoot that I had with a calligrapher a couple months ago and we had an amazing time. Hi. All right, just arrived with Erin. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. Just look at this wall. All right, more to share. Here we go, brand session with Knob Hill Jane. So excited. So let's, Go from the beginning. We had our strategy meeting 
And from that meeting, I learned that she wanted to kind of overhaul her website in the new year. So she needed branding images to support that, plus her social media. And most of the time when you're doing a brand shoot, images are being used to support or update a website and also having those banks of images for social media to kind of build that awareness. So we knew with the website, we wanted some banner images, so that's gonna be horizontal, but we also could capture portrait, so those can be cut into squares or have it in the larger format for social media. So I like to shoot with that variety in mind so then she can use it wherever she needs to. All right, so we created concept boards and I'm gonna show you um, the concept boards for this session. I'll bring those up here and really, it came into kind of my three categories for photos. We wanted the portrait shot, so environmental portrait in her studio. Um, she has a home studio, so we set up the environmental portrait. So you have her authentic space when you're seeing those images and it tells a great story. So that was the first place we set up and based off the concept boards that we had, we kind of moved through what she needed. She always talked about how her process was people needed to email her. So we definitely wanted a picture with her and her computer. So then she can speak to that on social media and on her website. Then we got into the creative side where her offerings are more than just, you know, working on wedding envelopes, for example. So we wanted to show signage that she does and break out all the tools and really have fun with this shoot. So we had um, referencing the concept boards always throughout the shoot. We then went to a different space in her home. She had a brand new, beautiful kitchen. So we utilized this space to have kind of like a beautiful blank backdrop. All right, so far the shoot has been amazing as expected. And now we're setting up in a second zone of her space. We have, this is kind of like our command center. We have the iPad here, looking at all the images that are coming in. We have this gorgeous space. It's gonna be so much fun. So the next category we wanted to cover is the action process. So we did some great overhead shots setting up for one of my favorite shots the overhead shot i have the ladder behind erin she's setting up her workspace here we go head shots of her in action we showed um, the different items that she can provide like place card holders and we also talked about how she does engraving so we had bottles that she was engraving and we really just went through all her services and offerings to show that it's beyond the envelope the next thing was special for this shoot we wanted to create a flat lay that encompass almost all of the things that she can do in her calligraphy business. And that's where I really wanted to be intentional with this flat lay. And when we were doing the concept boards, I actually created kind of two mock-ups. And I do this all in Canva. And I created two mock-ups for the flat lay. So then she had some guidance and she understood, okay, I need to prepare a bunch of items that's in a cohesive story. So then this would be a great banner image or an image that she can use on social media. Okay, final shot of the day. Erin is setting up this huge collection. It's gonna be this amazing flat lay. As a reference, this is what I created in Canva for our concept boards as a direction for this amazing collection flat lay. It's gonna be good. All right, so this was so fun to create. And she really took this design and then she expanded on it. And then we did a whole flat lay session of taking different, not only an overhead shot, but then different angle shots. So you can really get the fine details of all the work that she does. All right, so photo shoot day was amazing. We had so much fun capturing all that she does. She has a huge amount of images that she can select from for social media and her website project. Now, 
I create a gallery that's private to her where she can go and go through and select. And many times you kind of have multiple approaches for photographers on how they provide images and galleries and packages. And for me, mine is time and image based. So conversely, you may find photographers do a half day rate, a full day rate, and that includes all the select images. I, in thinking of the clients that I work with and businesses, they're typically wearing all the hats in their business. So they might not be able to dedicate a six hour full day shoot for their business because the business also needs to be running as well. So my smallest package is like an hour, hour and a half. I call it a mini session where they're getting every category, their portrait, action process, and their products and services. They're getting some core images, 15, um, for their business. So then when they get their gallery, they can choose the 15 that are included in the package and then months down the road, if they needed a different package they or a different image, they can always go back to that gallery and then quickly download the image that they need for an additional price. So I have it set up that way. You really just wanna work with your type of client base and what's great for them and then price accordingly. So I hope this was helpful. Definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm gonna be making so many more videos this year about my process, about brand photography and brand video. I had so many amazing clients this past year and I can't wait to share. Um, please look below in the description. I'll break down kind of the gear I was using as well in the shoot. And I hope this was helpful. All right, talk to you soon.